Hey guys, so this is a video just about um, getting VNC Connect to work remotely over the internet um, for a Raspberry Pi. And in this case it's a Raspberry Pi 4, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be the same for a Raspberry Pi 3. And I ran into a couple of problems and I couldn't find anything online, I couldn't find anything kind of for this specific problem. This is going to be a pretty specific fix, it's not going to be uh, you know, it's not going to be a troubleshoot for any problem that you're going to run into with um, VNC on the Raspberry Pi, but in my case I essentially want to have my Raspberry Pi in another place and be able to control it remotely. And I ran into a couple of problems here and I'll show you what those problems might be. So the first problem was that to get it to connect online you need to essentially go onto your Raspberry Pi um, either with a screen or via VNC and open up VN or open up the VNC um, server software on the Raspberry Pi, you know, through the um, the general user visual interface, and then go into the options and go into a tab that says licensing, and select um, select licensing, and then go in and use your user uh, login credentials, and that will connect the Pi to your like online VNC profile. However. I'll show you what problem you can run into. So you're gonna, I'm gonna assume that you know how to use terminal a little bit to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Um, so I'm gonna SSH into my Pi here. Okay, so I'm now on my Raspberry Pi. I've installed um, VNC server using the, the terminal. Now I'm looking at VNC viewer. And I've made a I've made a, a connection here, but unfortunately I can't see my desktop, right? And this is what was coming up first because I don't use a screen with my Raspberry Pi, so it doesn't give a default resolution. It doesn't set the Raspberry Pi up to actually have a, a, a resolution or um, a display connected to it. So I was looking up what do I do in this case, and one of the answers I came across was that you need to have a virtual um, a virtual desktop setup. So how do you do that? Well, what you do is you just go in and you use this command VNC server. I'll just type everything in because it might be a bit clearer. VNC server. That will run some software and it will set up this virtual server one, right? Raspberry Pi one. So I go back into my viewer and I want to make a new connection. I go, what was that again? Let's go back and just see, um, 192.168.22. Okay, one, right, so this is my virtual connection one. Click OK. Open it up, gives me some sort of stuff. I use my username, my password. Great. Okay, seems to be working. Fantastic. Now this is a local connection. This is over my network using the local IP address of my Raspberry Pi, which is set up through my terminal. Um, it's set up a little server. I'm using the client to view it. And I click on this, great. The instructions tell me I need to click over here on the options, great. Scroll in and uh oh, no licensing tab. It should be just above this check for updates tab, right? How the hell am I going to connect it to my online VNC connect again, or whatever it's called, like www.vnc.com or whatever? Problem. So no amount of searching gave me the answer to this. I actually contacted VNC and they said that they don't provide support for free users. So basically go figure it out yourself. Check the documentation. Couldn't find anything in the documentation. Here's what the fix is, okay? The problem is that you have no screen resolution set up if you're using your Raspberry Pi headless. So what you need to do is you need to go sudo raspi-config you need to go down to advanced options. You need to go to resolution and you need to set your resolution. Okay, then go down to finish. It'll ask you to reboot, click yes. 
you will be logged out of your Raspberry Pi. You're going to have to wait a few seconds. And then you, uh, I'm just going to clear this to make it a little easier to see. It's a Raspberry Pi 4, so it's pretty, it's pretty fast at connecting. Um, so, okay, it's enough time for it to connect. So now your Raspberry Pi should be, um, yeah, I don't even need to SSH it back in, but, so screw it. Okay, so now what I need to do is create a new connection. This time I'm not doing any, like, anything like launching it off, uh, off SSH192. I'm not bothering with the semicolon one, I'm just going to do that. Got to use my username and password again. All right, and you'll notice this time if you're if you're really paying attention that VNC is now black background, blue writing on black instead of blue on white. Uh, follow the same steps, and this time now I have a licensing tab, so we fixed it. So you go onto this, you put in your email address, you put in the password that you've set. You click sign in, there might be a couple more steps, I can't remember the last time I did this, but uh, easy peasy, and then you go on to the website and you can very easily uh, connect your Raspberry Pi online, and then you can set it up on your phone or your laptop to work from anywhere, so you can leave your Raspberry Pi at home, you can go out to an internet cafe, and then over VNC you can actually check what's happening back home, maybe log on to your, onto your network or just see what's happening on your Raspberry Pi. Okay, I know I kind of stumbled around and took a bit longer getting to the point there, but I hope this video is interesting and handy to somebody.